What's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. And I really appreciate you tuning in to my review today. And as you saw from my thumbnail and my title, finally got Momon Adon in hand, man. And I, I'm just going to start out. Y'all know what my, my channel is, the Stone Mandalorian. Y'all know what it is. I love, real quick, I love these eyes right here, dude. <laughs> Momon looks baked, man. But anyways, back to the review. In all seriousness, man. Um, this packaging looks freaking awesome. I'll give this a quick spin. Uh, I'll, number seven in the New Hope line. It's so awesome to get a deep cut alien. And really cool that they went out of their way to give us a brand new sculpt and didn't really try to give us any reuse for off of Doc Ondar because I don't own that figure, but that figure is pretty freaking badass too, man. I have to admit, if I ever happen to come across it one day, I would definitely snag it. That's for sure, especially for all the accessories it comes with. But like I said, man, number the seventh figure in the A New Hope subline, or some of you might call it Star Wars 77. A New Hope you, you might make you cringe a little bit. I call it both. But this box looks fantastic, man. That side mural of MoMA or Hammerhead looks fantastic, man. There's a lot of nice sculpting on this figure. A, a lot of nice sculpting on this figure, man. Really nice paint. They got a wash on it. And I am really, really excited to get into it, man. We got three cups, and he comes with an E11, I believe that is. And, yeah, man, so let y'all get a quick look at the box, of course. And I'll let y'all get a good, nice side look at this art right here. So cool, man. But, yeah, let's not waste any time, and let's, let's get into it. And one thing I wanted to point out is just the size of the box to be prepared when y'all do get this figure in hand. So right here, I also got a reissue from big bad i just got a like a 10 figure pile of loot shipped uh i just did a video on that so go check it out i'd really appreciate it i hope you enjoy it but just got this reissue of commander fox here but you can see this is just the old school red and black box and you can see how much bigger this momon a dawn box is man the other box is a little bit taller but you can see yeah he's a he's a pretty hefty boy so looking forward to getting into this so i just kind of messed around with hammerhead here before i put him down and laid out his accessories and everything and man uh this is a very well done figure man uh toys of action figures have just come such a long way in the past like let alone 10 years obviously if you collect the retro line and uh tvc and stuff like which there's a lot of articulation on those little tvc figures but like the old kenner 5 poa figures you know and you look back at those figures and it's just like Man, the the technology and engineering has just come so far. But as I said earlier, we'll go ahead and start off with his accessories here. Need to give me some tweezers to do this smaller stuff. But as I said, I was correct. We've got an E11 here. So if you own a Stormtrooper and a couple other figures, I, I can't name off right now that have this blaster. But this is a Stormtrooper blaster. Seen that the line before. And then we got some cups here. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera there. Got some really cool cups. Not not much to them. Pretty simple. Nothing nothing to write home about, that's for sure. But it is cool that it comes with it. Nice little world building element. Just hollow. Just a white cup. These are cool. I might end up giving one to Hammerhead and one to Dr. Evazon and Ponda Baba perhaps. Just a little hollow hole, but pretty cool that they that it's in, it's in here. So, but this is this is what we're really wanting to look at here. Here he is, man. I'll put these off to the side for a second. And man, um, you know what? I, I don't know whether whether to start with the articulation or the sculpting first because there's just so much to talk about, man. Um, the paint, sculpting, articulation, just like I said, um. I'm just, this is, this may be figure of the year, man. I thought the droid he carried Super Battle Droid was it, but, and Momo Naidon is not even that, like, he's a very deep cut character. He has, like, seconds, like, five seconds of screen time, if that. So, I don't know why I like this figure so much, but those eyes are just <laughs> really cool, man. The whole thing is cool. I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and start off with articulation, because I'm just impressed with this figure. So, getting onto the head here. There's some down motion right here. He can look up, look down. 
There is some side to side as well, which is really freaking cool. You can see it's the whole, just the head too, not not me twisting the body. Got some night for some cool expression. And this whole scarf piece is sculpted on, or I don't know, I'm, I apologize, it's an overlay over the back of this, but it moves with the head very nicely. Wow, dude, they really, they really outdid this figure. So, got a very nice full T position here, no problem at all. Make sure this is focused for y'all. Very nice full T position. See these deep cuts in the elbow, so you can get right at 90. We have a vertical hinge here in the right hand and a horizontal hinge here in the left hand. Oh, I also meant to there's swivel at the elbow. Your typical uh, single joint ball socket. Do have some butterfly joints hiding in here, so that's pretty awesome. The typical modern articulation you'd want. Getting to the legs here, just due to the skirt, it is a hard plastic. This whole overlay piece, as you can see, uh, the belt included, is sculpted in with it. All this. But you can you can kick his leg out a little bit. You can just see how the plastic would, you can see how that would get in the way. We're getting down to the ankle here, or I'm sorry, to the knees. You can see these really deep cuts on the back of here, so get some really nice slightly below 90 degrees here maybe right at 90 depending on how you're looking at it but that's pretty awesome man that's pretty awesome also looking at the ankles you can see these hinges here so you got some decent look at the swivel too got some rockers bottom of the feet real quick but the feet can go down they can go down that far and they can come up that far. So a lot of a lot of range in the in the ankle joint here. That's pretty sweet, man. Alright, now getting down to what I'm probably most excited about. And that's the sculpting, man. This thing is let me lower my chair a little bit. Okay, that's right. This thing they just they this is a beautiful, beautiful sculpt. So this is the second Ithorian in the line. This is Hammerhead species, Momonedon species. I love those eyes, man. He looks baked. <laughs> but there is some really nice texture, and you can see the wash. We'll we'll get under that. I'm just gonna give you an idea of the sculpt real quick. And man, uh, just look look at the feet. Looks so awesome. Got a look at the wash in here just to bring out all those little minute details. Give it that texture and the depth. This extra paint here. Let me get this focused. That's better. That's much better. This wash is just fantastic, man. Look at the toes. So well done, man. I love that so much. Kind of reminds me of Jar Jar's feet and Zeb's feet. Alien, alien sculpture. Man, Hasbro just knocks it out the park, man. You can see here some nice, nice sculpting. It's got some little bit of gold paint right here. This this kind of like yarn rope he's got is really nice. Got a little pouch here. Got two more pouches sculpted back here. I really like the the paint that's on there. Different color from the actual. That's that's a nice addition. Very clean paint from where it's tied up to the little yarn belt he's got. That's it. That's really clean. Sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. I was trying to look at the figure and not my phone. Man, that is some beautiful sculpting. That's some clean paint right there, man. I can see why they were, why they were charging deluxe for this figure. This thing is covered in freaking paint, dude. Like look the hands. Look at the hands, dude. So cool. Look at the texture on that, man. So nicely done. Man. Hasbro was really, really cooking with this figure, man. I'll give you a little look at the top here. In the back of his head. So that is very, very cool, man. They absolutely knocked it out with this figure, dude. 
Wow. Dude, look at the eyes, man. Like, the, all the texture and sculpting on this is just so good, man. Look at that. Look at that wash in there and all, and all those crevices, man. It just brings all that detail out so much. Wow. Well, well done, Hasbro. Well freaking done, man. Just wanted to show y'all real quick. Momo holds the E11 very nicely, dude. No problem at all. But in there, no problem. And here he's holding the, one of the cups pretty good. I wanted to tr try to see how it fit in this more open hand. And it, look, it looks kind of like Momo's telling a little story in the cantina right now. So <laughs> I really, dude, this is an awesome figure. This is fucking awesome. And this is what Momo looks like when he just uh, won, won his bet off the Boonta Eve race. <laughs> this is such a stellar figure, dude. This is freaking awesome, man. If you've watched my reviews before, you know what time it is. Time for the side-by-side -side comparisons. And this is just a great way to kind of give give the figure a more in, in real life feel and kind of just gives you a good idea of scale, you know. And it just make, makes it, it, just pulls it all together when you put other figures with with each other, man. But here is uh, the brand new R2-D2, the correctly scaled R2-D2 and Archive C-3PO. We're just going to keep it going with a more OT vibe, original trilogy, just for the sake of Momon A. Dawn. And on the right here, keeping on up with the Star Wars 77, A New Hope, we've got the Tusken Raider. And on the left, obviously I know it's not A New Hope, it's Empire Strikes Back, but ESB, but we have Zuckus, and these are look, looking awesome, man. Standing in for the side-by-side -side comparison now, here on the left is the Return of the Jedi old school card back, Stormtrooper 2020 Stormy. And on the right is the Power of the Force card back, Greedo. And here is the Power of the Force Han Solo on the left and the Archive Chewbacca on the on the right. Still still so tall, Peter Mayhew's tall ass, still out of frame, man. But these these look pretty cool, man, just having them next to each other. These, just like I said, just keeping that OT vibe going, man. Here on the left is the old TP Luke, is very well known in the community, and Really looking forward to getting the updated Luke Skywalker. Disappointed about the face sculpt, especially this one. This one's this one's shit. But we're really looking forward to getting an update on this Luke Skywalker, farm boy Luke Skywalker. And on the right is the 2024 reissue of Bosk, and I'm super happy to have this figure in my collection. Just did a review on him, so if you're new to collecting and need a little refresher of what they expect, if you want this figure, go check it out. I'd appreciate it. And last off for the side-by-side -side comparisons, you know I had to end it with more Star Wars 77 figures. On the left is Dr. Evazon, and on the right here is Ponda Baba. These look freaking awesome together, man. Two people are going to be really happy when uh, Lance Peter Luke finishes that 1 12th uh, scale version of that cantina, man, because these would look epic. Okay, my bad. This is the last of the side-by-side -side comparisons, man. Look at this. This is a full circle moment right here, man. This is crazy. So you can just see the update over time, man. Look at how far action figures have come, man. Look at this. Man, just uh, crazy, dude. It's crazy. But, and I've actually seen people do this. They get this little can. I forget what it's called. They give it to... They've given it to Momon A. Dawn, and it fits, like, perfectly, dude. So there it is real quick. You can see him holding it, man. So that's pretty crazy. So I, 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 in my right mind, dude, I really thought that it was going to be the Droidica or the Super Battle Droid that was going to be figure of the year. But I don't know, man. This is another level, man. And this, in my opinion, is worth... Every penny of the thirty three ninety nine that it's worth, man. This was pipeline in like August sometime of twenty twenty three. So now officially getting in here in uh, September of twenty twenty four is it just it's it's righteous, man. It feels so good to finally have such a deep cut OT alien in the Black Series again. Other because it's been I forget when Doctor Evazon and uh, Ponda Baba came out, but like man, we don't have a, a whole lot of New Hope figures in general to begin with in the line. So the fact that we got such a deep character such as this, and it wasn't even reused from Doc Ondar, which is the same species as 
uh, hammerhead here, uh, Moane Dom, the if if Thilran species. So the fact that they went brand new sculpt on this man is just suit is just it's just fucking tubular, man. And the wash on this looks fantastic, man. Brings out all those all the hours that some a sculptor spent sculpting this mold for this figure. That wash just brings out all those details and all that effort so much, man. Paint on this figure is immaculate, man. A beautiful, beautiful paint. So clean down from the little side gills where, where they breathe and talk down to the little different pouches on the belt, the slightly different colors, the super, super clean yarn belt here, the glean, glean, I mean, clean gold buckle right there. Just they knocked it out the park, man. And as usual with aliens, they, they just don't miss, man. They don't fucking miss. Hasbro kills it with alien sculpts. And it makes me happy to get that we're getting characters like this. That's why I, when I saw that this was Pipeline, I, I knew I knew for certain I was going to sub a pre-order on this just to show the line, show the support, show Hasbro that we we there are fans out here that collect this line that want this older OT type stuff, man. Uh, there, there's a lot of us, I feel like, in the community. But this is such a stellar, stellar figure, dude. Uh, articulation, all the modern, sweet, sweet modern articulation that you'd want out of a Black Series figure. Butterfly joints, deep cut hinges in the knees, ankles, and elbows. Um, a lot of fucking expression and head tilt actually from this like a weird shaped head sculpt because it, obviously a Thorian species got a very, as you can see, different shaped skull and head, whatever you would call it, but his anatomy is not human-like. The fact that they got this to move like it does is just really, really cool, man. The like I said earlier in my review, the engineering that they're getting on these figures is just, it's phenomenal, man. It's This is just some phenomenal, phenomenal engineering. Beautiful, beautiful sculpting and a lot of gorgeous paint, man. I, I could, and, and the, again, the eyes, man. My, my channel being the Stone Mandalorian, I, I am an advocate for, an advocate, an advocate for marijuana and stuff like that. So it's just cool to me that he's kind of got this baked look or, you know, He's in the cantina, man. I'm sure he's been chilling and hanging out, talking with his buddies, man. But I love that these cups, they, the cups are really cool inclusion. Uh, the fact that they were included with this just makes it a little even more sweet because it is. But let me be, let me say something real quick. Even if it didn't come with the cups, I still would have paid thirty three ninety nine for this figure, man, because the sculpting and the paint alone are worth that, in my opinion. This is just. I am just very, very impressed with this figure, man. I, I could not be happier. And I'm really looking forward to getting uh, IG-12 12 revealed. I have him sitting here. Here we go. Uh, I thought this was going to be the one that I was going to be tripping out about. And I still may. I haven't opened it yet, as you can see. But, dude, this took me by surprise. This is just such a perfectly done figure. It's so beautifully done. Man, they, they just... They hit the nail on the head, man. But I, let me cut it short because I know this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer review, anyways. Because I've been, I've just had a lot to say. I am, I am thoroughly impressed and in love with this figure, man. This, this may have made it into my top ten. This, this, this is a, this may have bumped into the top ten list of all time for Black Series, in my opinion. It's, it's that good to me. But I'm going to wrap it up here because I could talk for another freaking thirty minutes about this figure. I'm not even joking, dude. It's just. If you've hesitated, man, I, I feel like this one's going to be in stock on Big Bad for a minute. And maybe it won't. Maybe it'll finally, you know, it'll dwindle down stock-wise. But, man, you, you should pick this figure up if you were hesitant, if you were hesitant about it, man. It's so, so worth it. Such a sweet, sweet figure. Stellar, stellar release, man. I just can't say anything more good about it. Um, but, yeah, the, I, I, like I said, I'm going to keep rambling. So I really appreciate y'all checking out my review. Uh, super stoked to finally have this. It was, like I said... Pipeline last year, 2023, having it now, September of 24. Feels awesome, man. Feels really good. I feel like Hasbro has getting over, got over that bump of distribution after COVID and stuff, but everything's kind of back to normal. Hope, I say normal loosely. We know how the world is now, but all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all tuning in and checking out the review. I hope you're all having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Like and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. May the force be with you.